Hey guys, it's Rena here, and today I will be opening the first of many openings for Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. These, as you guys can tell, is some Dollar Tree packs. I have 15 Dollar Tree packs here that I'm going to open in this video. So each one of these comes with three Pokemon cards, which is why um, they're only a dollar. So it doesn't come with a code card, it's just a little informational sheet and the rare card if you get one you're not guaranteed to get one but if you do get a rare card it would be in the middle so the trick is just to move the middle one to the back so you have a horsey porygon and a noibat which is just a common so you're not guaranteed to get a rare but you can get rares ultra rares even secret rares out of these packs so pretty cool i hope to pull at least probably one gx card i would be really excited and happy with one so we have crab roller lana Lana, and we have a reverse hollow which is just a common and that's a cutie fly i did get one of each pack arts so at least so that you guys could see those if you haven't already seen them, which if you are a Pokemon fan, I'm sure you've been watching plenty of openings to all the people that got them early. So, I just haven't had a chance. But obviously these don't come with code cards, so I'm not giving out a code card in this video. But I do give out a lot of code cards in my other videos. Alolan Vulpix, Metapod, and I have a Hollow, nice Hollow Dark Rye. The hollow pattern on these cards are actually like pretty hard to see. I didn't even know that that was a hollow until I tilted it. So, it's kind of unfortunate. There was only like 20 something packs. So, it was not like a full new box. Inke have a leaf energy or grass energy and a common routes. I really actually like that card. It's pretty cool. I believe that is Poppy Steamy. But you can correct me if I am wrong. So pull rates in general, even with regular packs from like Target or Walmart or anywhere, are for Sun and Moon are still very, very hard. Togo tomorrow. Darkness Energy, and a Crow Gunk, which is just a common. So the pull rates are not that great for any of the Sun and Moon sets. So I wouldn't be surprised if I opened all of these and only got that one hollow. That would really be a bummer, but for $15, not really. That's about like three regular packs. So Tynamo, Electrike, and a Crab Roller. So I haven't opened any Sun and, um, I've opened regular Sun and Moon and, uh, Guardians Rising, but haven't opened any Burning Shadows cards yet, so this is the first Burning Shadows opening on this channel. Venipede, Plumera, and a common Sneasel. I'll definitely be having more openings for... Um, Dollar Tree packs as well as like regular packs from just the store. We have a Rhyhorn, Electabuzz, and we have a Reverse Uncommon Noctowl. I have seen people pull secret rares and stuff like that out of these packs too. I've never been quite that lucky, but hopefully one day I'll score huge. I have pulled plenty of really valuable cards out of Dollar Tree packs before though. We have a Routes, Lana, and a Tangela, oh, which is just a common. So far, only one hollow, so hopefully I'll get at least another hollow, or I would love a GX. But, um, so this is like the equivalent to probably three to four regular packs, and you're not guaranteed, even with four regular packs from the store, you're not guaranteed a, um ultra rare so Tynamo, fairy energy and another hollow sweet porygon z hollow now that one is much easier to actually see the hollow foil pattern on it
But the pull rates for Sun and Moon have been, ugh. They have been horrible. So we have a Tangela, Semipore, and a Common Dupider. So only three packs left after this one. But out of the equivalency to three to four regular packs, two hollows is above average odds. So I'm pretty happy with that as well, even though I would love to pull something amazing. I will definitely be having more cards, Noivat, and in future videos that come with like code cards and stuff, I'll definitely be giving out code cards. Darkness Energy, and we have a regular rare Crab Abominable. So that's a rare at least. That's the first actual, like, regular rare that I've gotten. It's been all commons except for the hollows, which is really weird. It's usually I get a lot of regular rares. We have Alolan Grimer, Lana, and a Reverse Uncommon Simapore. Second to last pack for this opening, but like I said, I'll be having plenty more. It's still the beginning of the month, so I've still got some bills to pay. But after I take care of all my adulting, I will definitely be opening more stuff here on the channel. I did just pick up um, at GameStop the Espeon and the Umbreon boxes, so I'll be opening those hopefully soon. Morlow, Simisir, and the last card is a Caterpie. The last pack for this video... But yeah, so I just got those, and I'll definitely be opening them here on the channel eventually. Um, I, I got those at GameStop. They were buy one, get one half off, so I only paid like $60 for both of them, which is really cheap, because normally it's like over 80 because they look really expensive. So, Dupider, Metal Energy, and the last card is just a Togemaru. So, out of the equivalency to three or four regular booster packs, I got one rare and two hollows which is actually is above average odds so i'm still happy with that this porygon z hollow is really cool and then also have the dark rye hollow so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you will subscribe to the channel for lots of fun content as well as more pokemon videos um if you guys could leave a like on this video i would greatly appreciate it and if you do subscribe then welcome i'm happy to have you i'll be doing more openings in the future as well as more uh, code card giveaways and i have some codes as well for like some really cool stuff like box sets and stuff that i'll be like giving away on my channel just randomly and maybe doing a giveaway for some other stuff when i get more subscribers so thank you guys so much for all the love and support i appreciate it and if you are new to the channel then welcome and if you are already a subscriber then welcome back so i'll see you guys again real soon bye